Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Mastering the Game with your boy B. Ellis. Man, this episode is insane. Insane to say the least, bro. We got um two overtime games against district rivals. And, bro, this might be the best episode I've had out of all 31. Um, I think Zachary is a close second, but this one, this is crazy, y'all. I can't wait for y'all to get in tune, man. You ain't gonna have no choice but to love this one. You ain't gonna have no choice, man. Um, listen, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We trying to get to 1K. We gonna keep pushing. And uh, we gonna keep doing things for the culture, man. We gonna keep doing things for the north side of the city. And, uh, man, enjoy the episode, y'all. Let's get to it. There comes a crucial point in your lifetime where you're going to have to really be there for someone when they're broken. Well, in a basketball context, we call it picking your brother up. It may not be one person or two, but it may even be a collective unit. Regardless of who's available, there has to be a next man up mentality, and it will show you just how deep your troops are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Mastering the Game with three of our senior starters out we get a chance to see who can bring what to the table in a huge rivalry game. With the district championship looming, this may make or break our season. Let's get to work. You know, ask really stupid questions in the chat and shit, huh? You always come up with the weird ass questions. What, what, what's question I ask? Yeah, I don't know. You do be asking a lot of weird questions. Yeah, like dumb, like shit, right. that, shit that I knew it'd be, I was gonna really get on his ass. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What do you say? What do you say? Where do you rate our defense? Like, <laughs> then I say, the yeah, then I say, what do you mean? Bro, back up, bro. <laughs> Damn. Damn. On a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> hey, you playing the truth? That'd be fire, huh? Coach. Hold on, hold on. Damn! You already know what it is, man. Right? Jason about to go and grab the uh the paper and everything. We got your little raw stuff. We got the lights going. Everything's gonna pop off. Yes, sir. That's 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 his guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Man, second half of this year, Carol going to build. Four out, of the five, four out of the last five in the crib. We got Dennis Robin in the building right here, you hear me? Yeah, y'all know what time it is, man. You see the work glasses. Y'all know what time it is. It's the work glasses, man. Four out of the last five at the crib, baby. Yes, how you, how, you, how you feeling right now? Ankle good? It's better from yesterday. How long you think you gonna be out? I don't know about playing Friday. That's all I know. You want you playing Friday? I hope you play Friday. We're gonna step in and do some things that he does. I don't expect you, 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 I don't expect one person to do everything Tyler does. I expect as a group, we fill in gaps. You know, so who's gonna be our vocal leader tonight? On defense, who's gonna be talking? On offense, who can help recognize matchup problems? When we go up nine and ten. And we don't have an easy transition, let's get a bucket. Let's go to something, let's get a bucket. Put them away, little by little, put them away.
every time Karen Crow comes to your building, like it's one of those things like it's a robbery 24-7. I don't care what uh, type of team Karen Crow has, I don't care what type of team we have, it's gonna be a slugfest from beginning to end. And like that night we played Karen Crow, I mean it was no different. Um, bro, and the thing is, Tyler got hurt against Southside, right? And we needed guys to step up. And then midway through the second quarter, Everett goes down. You know, and then Trey tries to run out to the court to see if Everett was okay, and then they eject him. So we're down three starters, like, in the first half, y'all. And, like, we had to figure things out. Of course, they were face guarding Zion because they know what Zion can do on the floor. And throughout the game, man, and especially throughout this, uh, the rest of the first half, we just had to, like, fight it out, slug it out, and see what we can do and see what type of adjustments we can make going into the second half, man. To have three starters out, three seniors, be out for an entire game out of nowhere, it was really different. It was really different to say the least, man. But our guys really fought through. They continued to play defense at a high level. Johnny was really big on the glass. And, I mean, Rax played defense at a high level. Terrell came in as well. So, I mean, it was next man up mentality in that first half, and it continued to be that throughout the second half. amazing to watch our guys our young guys be so poised man Lee Makai come in give us big minutes even Tero Kyron came in like guys gave us big minutes down the stretch bro we're, we're a deep basketball team right and I want to commend Johnny for like catch he caught the rebound off a of Zion miss to win the basketball game poised enough to find Lee Lee is poised enough to control the basketball and finish right in front of the rim Right in front of the rim. He could have easily missed that layup, but he was poised enough to finish, man. So that was just a great game against Karen Crow, man. Hats off to Karen Crow. You know, it, it, it just, the ball bounced our way. The ball bounced our way against Karen Crow, man. And I can't be more proud of the guys, the way they fought, being that three of their senior leader, uh, leaders were out, and they still found a way to win the basketball, uh, basketball game, man. That's a classic game. That's a classic Northside Karen Crow game, man. And 
you know, if you were there to witness it, hopefully this uh, match in the game episode can provide you a little bit of um, insight. God, put back? Yeah. Big, I'm about to make your ass fall. Oh my God. Hey, that was just with with Kanye and Turk in the game, we get good quality wins. Team wins. Just like the summer. We was killing in the summer. We was killing them. We killing them. Look, the more step up. You see Turk? You see Turk? The Euro tough right hand lay, and he's flexing after? He's flexing after? Johnny Boy dying for game? Good quiet and win. We play like it was a week, you heard? Let's stop basketball. And we like that! Never be defeated, game, we out. That's smart, dude. That's way smarter. Huh? That's way smarter. Well, anyway, if you don't know, my boy got hurt against Southside. You know, you sitting here right now? Hey, yo, yo, my boy got hurt Saturday against Southside. We won the game with Hardy against Karen Crew. We got his team on tomorrow. He needs to be. We've been working the last three days trying to get him ready. And today is the last. Well, not really. Friday game, you can't get him ready to get him ready too, but. Today is the last day for him to be ready. Yeah, I think he might be. Yeah, I do recovery therapy. So basically what he's doing right now, you hear me? He's just getting warming up his ankle with a little pedals. A little push pedals right now. He's gonna warm up and do it like a few exercises, probably like four or five. We did five yesterday, I think. Five or six. We're gonna do another five or six, but it's gonna be more rigorous than what it was yesterday. Every day you wanna rev it up. And I ain't no physical therapist, but I'm ML, I'm ML for that trial. So we try. Ooh, gotta get to see my all right, all right, all right. I said they can. You okay. You're not getting that on camera. You don't want to. I don't want them to feed us. He said. So we don't. Go, we go, what we did first day, 20? Yeah. Did 25, now we're going 30. Alright. Here we go. One. You know, as you guys already know, um, Tyler couldn't play in that game against Karen Crew. He rolled his ankle against Southside. And, you know, as a guy that went through injury, um, a very aggravating injury, my senior year of high school, that hindered me a lot, um, I understood his mindset. You know, playing in a big game or not being able to play in a big game, and you see your teammates busting their tail, and you can't provide, you know, your production for those guys. Um, so, you know, Monday before the character game, we got in work, balance work, um, um, massage the swelling area within that ankle just to get that swelling down, get blood flow within that ankle. Uh, uh, you know, Tuesday on game day, we did some more work. You guys are just getting one day, the day before the STM game, you know, when he got a little bit better, he started to be a little bit more mobile on that ankle, man. But, you know, as a guy 
that went through it, I understand that his mindset was like, man, I really want to be there for my teammates, you know, and I didn't want him to put too much pressure on himself to be there for his teammates, right? So just me as a coach, and I understand what Coach Jason and Coach B, you know, they're worried about, they, they have to get the entire team ready. You know, they can't just stop practicing and worry about Tyler. So it's my job, you know, as a developer of players, you know, I got to be there for guys that, you know, are going through things, right? And I wanted to be there for Tyler and try my best, you know, from the things that I've learned at LSU Wade to get him better and get him back healthy, as healthy as possible. You know, I knew he wasn't going to be 100%, but he wasn't going to be 50. He was going to at least be 70, 75% of himself, you know, and that's what we tried to do, man, you know. I understood how big this game was for him. It was his last time, you know, you know, in this type of stage, you know, uh, this type of home crowd. And, you know, you want to experience that, man. And I try, you know, we tried our best to get him back 100%. And, you know, hey, he wanted it, right? And he he came in here every day and worked to get back 100% for his team. So this was just one day of our rehab. I'm not, I'm not no physical therapist. I don't know, you know, I just utilized some of the things that I learned at LSUA to try to get him back. Um, as healthy as possible. All right, this is the last little part we got, bro. We're going to try to get the sweating up out of you. I don't have nothing about me being brotherhood in my life. This ain't brotherhood shit. This ain't brotherhood. If this ain't brotherhood right here, massaging another man foot to get him back right to play, you got to sweat it all right here a little bit. Look, look, get, get his face, get his face, get his face, get his face. It's way better than what it was uh, Monday though. Monday I ain't Monday I ain't think he had a shot to play. You said it hurt on this side too? For real? Oh you said like right here. You know how I've been jumping this shit. You can feel like this shit on me. Oh he ain't 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 Cats turn bitch <laughs> when it's time to do real like when it's time to do real shit. Bro, I got to, bro. Bro, I got, bro, I got to go over the swell, the swollen area, bro. You've been progressively getting better, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's for three days, touching another man's foot. Make this shit look like gorilla feet. <laughs> First day, the day before the game. Hopefully he able to play. I think he gonna be able to play, but. We done did what we were supposed to do. I mean, he wasn't just up in here just sitting around not trying to do nothing. He came in here, he tried to work for to rehabilitate the ankle. But, we gonna see. Damn, glass on, I put the uh, camera on you. Cool boy shit. Cool boy shit. Like, pack as hell type shit. Oh yeah. You feel like it's half, we're gonna have more than our capacity. Our capacity is like 900 something. Oh, it's gonna be 901. <laughs> Been working too hard, too long to come out here tonight. Too hard. All right? To come out here tonight and just lay an egg. Come out, show up, show them who we are. Keep your composure. Call them, go our way. Cool. All right. Play through it. Play through contact. Fight through the screen. All right. Come out here and let's play, fellas. Hey, move the ball. The ball. The more we move the ball in the past, and if we're attacking a gap on a dribble, the easier the shots will be. All right. You two trade and uh. John, make a crash the board's offense. Go make them have to work. I go into the goal, you should be sprinting back. Alright, leave you at the top, you get back. Alright, otherwise go crash the boards. Go.
Alright, you throw to your side, you're gonna cut. This guy flash right off his back. Stay in that little dunk spot. Make them have to make a decision right here. Alright? Zion, if you don't get it, then you reverse the ball. Alright, red, it's a runner. But we're gonna flash on red. If we just go red runner, then we're not gonna flash. Alright? start the STM game we didn't start Tyler um, because we understood that you know he was coming back from injury and that we wanted him to see the game and you know get comfortable that way so but the first half came down to turnovers y'all I'm gonna keep it a bean you know um we came out very strong I believe it was 10-2 and you know we started turning the ball over we had seven first quarter turnovers right and with the combination of us missing free throws uh against STM again you know, it kind of kept STM in the game. One thing STM is going, they're not going to beat themselves and they're going to let you beat you, right? They're not good enough to beat us, but they're good enough to be in the game and let us beat ourselves. That's who STM is, you know? And that's what happened, especially in the first half, man. Turnovers killed us. Turnovers killed us, man. Missed free throws killed us. But, you know, Rax really came in in that first half and made shots, bro. He was ready for the big stage. You know that he was locked in defensively. He was locked in on his shot. He was talking. He was energetic, you know. And, and Zion's going to always be Zion. And, and Tyler was a warrior in that first half, especially coming in, you know, getting warm, get, getting that ankle warm and things of that nature. And Johnny and Trey are going to be beast on the board for us, man. So, you know, that first half, we just have to clean up the turnovers. That was the main thing going into the locker room that we were trying to focus on.
know, the second half, y'all, was just, you know, about miss, misses and makes. You know, our guys played one hell of a game. You know, through all the adversity and mistakes that we made, we still fought and we clawed. And, you know, we had a chance to win the basketball game, right? Um, being up three with, I believe, 40 seconds to go, a kid that didn't make a shot all game, makes a shot to tie the game, and then in overtime, he just ran out of gas. You know, and, and that's basketball. That's basketball, for sure. But um, I just I just can't be more proud of the guys and the effort they showed. I can't be more proud of the guys and the effort they showed, man. And I also can't be proud of how, you know, the north side of the, sh uh, the city showed up, man. I I'm so proud of that, bro. Like, every, the, the one post we made um, on NHS Bomb Squad, people reposting it, everybody reposting it, showing love, man. And people showed up, man. And honestly, I can't be more... Um, just excited for the future for Northside basketball and Northside period. Um, the amount of people that showed love last Friday was amazing to me. And I can't be more um, grateful. You know, our guys are gonna continue to work. Um, you never know, we may see STM again in a tiebreaker. So um, I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate you guys coming out and supporting our team on such a big stage, bro. I really appreciate it, Northside, real, real talk. Um, we're gonna continue to push. We're gonna continue to push. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mastering the Game. There will be an episode next week. Um, we played uh, Westgate, uh, David Thibodeau, and um, Turlins for our senior night. That will be on episode 32. And uh, it's playoff time, baby. It's playoff time. It's crazy, yo. We just talked, we was talking about this in early June, about November being around the corner. Now we almost at playoff time, you know? Um, these scenes have done a great job leading this group, man. And I think we, we're, we're finally hitting, we're finally hitting our stride. I think we're finding our rhythm as a basketball team. You know, we haven't had our whole team consistently the entire year. So we're getting our team back. Everett's gonna be back. Uh, uh, Johnny's here. Uh, Tyler's getting back healthy, so. We'll see what happens, y'all, man. We'll see what happens. Like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. <laughs> Northside, you heard me. Never be defeated again. We are, you heard me. Yeah, you should be